So I am here to do a unboxing of a Bible I just bought and I'm very, very, very excited for this. But I wanted to share a few things first. I discovered How to Faith a Life on YouTube at the end of last year and she does Bible journaling. And she has this Bible, it's called an interweaved or interlaced Bible and every other page. So I just did this because of watching her videos. But every other page, you'd have your scripture here, or you'd have your scripture here, and then this page is completely blank so that you can do your journaling. And then you flip it, so then you have your scripture here, and this page is blank. And her Bible has been rebound and stuff, but it's just like absolutely like this big, bursting out. She has things, you open it, things pop out. She does like all her Bible study stuff in there. And I love that idea. And I love her reasonings behind it and stuff because wherever she goes, she has all her notes with her. She doesn't have to carry old like Bible journals or notebooks or anything like that. So it's all right there. And I will link her down below. Her stuff is really amazing, especially if you want to do Bible journaling. She does Bible studies and stuff like that. It's really, really awesome. So I bought this Bible back in 2019 maybe and it is a coloring bible and obviously i haven't colored everything i started kind of like at the very beginning with doing some colors let's see but i wanted to do just a little bit more and a few of the things i wanted to say in this is that you don't need multiple bibles you don't need an expensive bible the bible that she talks about that's like the interleaved one where every other page is blank is like 50 bucks but she loved it so much and talked about it so much it like sold out on amazon but i mean you can use your phone and pull up your bible app and you can highlight and stuff in there i don't do any digital bullet journaling or anything like that i just i don't have the tools for it the tablet or anything like that that you would do the journaling on but i imagine you could download a free bible app on something like your ipad or whatever tablet and do bible journaling on there as well and what i love about that is if you make a mistake like you can erase it and whatever it's not as permanent as something like this you don't need to spend a whole lot of money the one thing i would personally recommend and this is just for myself is i don't buy the journaling like pens and highlighters and stuff from the dollar store because that's just the one area where like it could make a really big mess if it doesn't work and I did just buy some pens on Amazon, which I'm going to unbox that Bible. And I look at the reviews for it and I type in specifically like bullet journaling pens or Bible writing pens because they don't bleed and stuff like that. Anyways, I bought a new Bible for under $50. Online, I wish I could, I wish I had a store in person that I could go to and like really look through and flip through a Bible. I really wish I could just like flip through a Bible in person and hold it in my hands. This is what I did with this one. I actually went to like a Christian conference and I bought this, but I worked with what I had and got one online that I think will work and looked up pictures and stuff of it online. And I've started doing a few little things in here. So this can be more of my testing Bible before I got my new one. And this one, like I started doing a little bit more drawing in it. And there is a verse in the Bible that says true worshipers will worship the father in the spirit and in truth for they are the kind of worshipers the father seeks god is spirit and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and the truth and i was like what does that even mean what does it mean to worship in spirit and in truth and i looked up some stuff online and then wrote out like what i found on this little card that i bought this is the kind of stuff i bought these papers from the dollar store they're just like cardstock and there are a couple dollars each so there are definitely some things you can keep your bible journaling a little bit cheaper and then save your money for the things that you would want like the pens or the highlighters i also just use like crayola pencil crayons and markers kind of thing these are highlighters but i also have these bigger pieces that i bought from the dollar store that i'm excited this is also just like a cardstock that I am excited to do something with. We'll see, I'll show you a few of the things that I have gotten for my Bible. Scrapbook journaling things, and I'm hoping to do a couple of videos of me scrap journaling, and yeah, just go on this faith journey together kind of thing. And I just wanted to point out, and she points this out in How to Faith a Life as well, that you don't need to spend tons of money on this. God's word is meant to be accessible to all of us, and it should be free. You could even go to a local church of some kind and ask, do you have Bibles? Our church has like these really tiny, thin New Testaments that they will hand out and stuff like that. Like you don't need to spend a bunch of money to get into the word, and you can use a pencil and like a yellow marker 
or a highlighter or whatever. One of the things that I started doing in this journal was I printed off this color coding system, somebody else's system online, and printed it off as a bookmark. And I have been using this and that's what these colors mean in this Bible. So like blue is who God is, names, attributes. Green is growth and commands, laws, obedience, fruitfulness. Purple is promises of God, who I am in Christ. Things like that. And I love this idea, but I found it a little bit constricting because I feel like sometimes I don't have all these colors with me or like who does, like I can't highlight in red. So I was using like underlining in a red pen kind of thing or like brown, like who highlights in brown, right? Also like sometimes I only had a yellow highlighter or I only had a pink highlighter or I read a verse and I couldn't figure out how I would fit it in. So I literally wouldn't highlight it at all and be like, I'm gonna talk to my husband about which color he thinks this is gonna fit over the under the best. And then I would totally forget about it, right? So I just realized, I think the way this is recording, I should have my Bible like this, but I just like would choose not to highlight at all. So I put like praise and stuff, which wiped off, but praise and things would be under purple. So in my new Bible, I'm not going to color code it that same way. I think I'm just going to go with whatever I feel like, whatever color scheme I'm feeling that day. So let's get into the unboxing stuff. Now I'm really excited about this first thing I want to show you. So this is my latest Bible that I had. Oh, and I also did a couple, but I don't like them, but I did a couple uh, like friendship bracelet type. This one's just braided that I used as bookmarks and like hot glued them into the spine here. And How to Faith a Life, I can't remember her name, did that with a couple of like ribbons and stuff like that that she has in there. You can watch her videos about how she does all that stuff. That's not my favorite. This one's a little bit thick. I don't know, but that's okay. We make mistakes, we grow, we learn along the way. And this is a bookmark my daughter got me for, from the Scholastic Book Fair. So it was like 25 cents or something like that. And it was cute, so I have it in here. Anyways, the first thing I want to show you in my unboxing is this Bible that I got about a year ago and I've been putting off really going through it because I'm kind of scared. So yeah, this was given to me January 11th, 2023, as you can see. And this was given from, I think my grandma, she passed in 2021, but I think she was thinking about giving this to me. And it is a Bible from 1912. So it's over a hundred years old already. A hundred and what? 112 years old. It's a teaching Bible. So Mary is my grandmother on my dad's side, my dad's mom. His grandpa read from it every night before bed. Please take care of it. We chose, <laughs> we chose you to have it as you are the one we think believes in God, grandma and grandpa, love Mary and Richard. So I, I laughed. I was like, yes, you don't have to think. I do believe in God. So my grandpa gave me these Bibles and these two are mini Bibles, which how cute are these? And he wrote another little note here. So February 10th, 2023. So the large Bible, which I'll unpack here in a second, was printed in 1912, making it 113 years old because he gave it to me last year. The other two Bibles, black one was my mom's sister. So my grandfather's aunt, Ellen. It went with her no matter where she went. And the red one was my grandma's and also went with her everywhere she went. So his aunt and his mom's. No, his aunt and her mom, maybe? Her name was Violet Rose. These take real good care of the large Bible, teaching Bible. Thanks, Grandpa. So, like, these are so tiny. Like, that is amazing. Oh, and it has pictures. Like, how cool is that? So, I haven't... There's the New Testament. So, it's got, like, the Old and New Testament. It says, to Dick. So, that's my grandfather. From Ellen. Ruby's sister. So yeah, Ruby was his mom. To Becky, 2022, and then he changed it to three. The little Bible selections from every book in the Bible. So not, this is obviously not the entire New and Old Testament, but like Luke, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a savior, which is Christ the Lord, Luke 2, 11. And then, yeah, it just kind of goes through. There's even a space for notes. Like that is so cool. So I am terrified to do anything with these Bibles because uh, your Bible contains God's plan of salvation for your pocket or purse because of my children. So this one, the words are actually a little bit bigger. It's printed like straight onto the cover. They made use of all of their space here. So this is God's plan for salvation all in this little thing. It is underlined that ye may know that ye have eternal life. So this is a really sweet gift. And then 
my cat is sitting in the box with the Bible, which is covered in paper, so that's good. Luigi, I need you to move, baby. So this is the large Bible I wanted to show you guys. The Chosen Word. This is another one. Like, where do I put this? It's such a beast. And my grandpa, at the same time, gave me toys that his dogs have had since, like, the 70s. And my dog just destroys toys. So he's like, would your dog like this? But, like, the really old dog toy he gave me, I won't even give to my dog because she just absolutely destroys everything. But I was like, how do they have dogs that just keep things in such pristine condition? So the Chosen Word from Mary. Grandpa's Bible, born 18. I don't even know. But look at this thing. It's a beast. Like, it's it's heavy. It's huge. It's got those gold gilded edges. It's falling apart. Like, I'm terrified to open this Bible and look through it. So there's, like, your introduction, the chosen word, illustrated and expounded, a Bible study course for the home. So I don't know if you can see everything that's in there. Introduction. Copyright 1915 and copyright 1912. The table of contents. You can see it's like falling apart. I wonder if something like this is worth anything or if it's just like super common. Not that I want to sell it. Like this is priceless in a different way, but just curious. So like this is so cool. This like little introduction thing and the little pictures of the bible this book contains the mind of god the state of man the way of salvation doom of sinners and happiness of believers when it goes on the text is a little bit hard to read but not too bad like even back then you could have colored it in see we thought we we're all new with our coloring books so this is kind of like telling you what a bible is the book of books thousands of years ago it was said of making many books there is no end if it was true then how much more is it in these days, when the printing press is pouring forth a ceaseless stream of books, yet among all the books ever written, the Bible is by far the most precious. How we got our English Bible? That's so cool. This is over 100 years old. I wonder how much this information has changed. Divisions of the Bible, so history, doctrine, prophecy, the books of the Old Testament. So again, like I said, this is a study Bible, so it's probably even bigger than just like if it just had the 66 books of the Bible. It's got a little breakdown of each. Like Obadiah, the book of Obadiah is a denunciation of the Edomites, Edomites and a vision of the glories of Zion when God shall have wrought her deliverance. The judges of Israel, the six periods. I know you can't see all this stuff. Whoa. I'm trying to get everything in the screen, but there's like the six periods of the church, I guess. Creation, deluge, exodus, coronation, division, exile, Christ. And then there's like a breakdown of what these all mean. I want to get into the Bible. Look at that. Illustrated and everything. I'll definitely have to go through this when I can like actually read it and stuff. Joseph in prison. I'm just curious to know like the people reading this. There's some kind of like metal in here. There's stains in it. Oh, oh yeah. I remember looking through this. This is like a wax sheet. I don't know what that is. This is Esther in remembrance. So, loving memory of Miss Ellen Jane Carline. So, this was her Bible. And then, I thought this was metal, but it's like a pressed flower. Oh, it's got like a huge thorn on it. Over here. That's crazy. This, I think, is like garbage. <laughs> this didn't really last, but. There's more pressed flowers in it. Oh, here's another. In memory of Violet Rose Robinson. So this would have been Ellen's mother. She was born in England in 1888. Oh, it's actually like a purple ribbon. The end is very faded. It's actually really pretty purple. I don't see any. This is a certificate of holy matrimony. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. I don't see any like highlighting or underlining in this though, which is always like a fun thing to see when you get like an old Bible, especially from a family member, what was important to them and stuff. So let me encourage you if you're not used to like writing or you're not sure what to do about writing or highlighting and stuff. If you're putting notes and stuff like in the margins and you're putting prayer like requests, answers to prayer, God sightings, anything like that that you see and you're like writing it down. That's a huge blessing for the next person 
who's coming to read it. Like if my kids or my grandkids or my great grandkids are picking up my Bible, they will see what was on my heart, what I was praying for, where God moved in my life, things like that. So this is so funny because I press flowers in my books all the time. This Bible, teaching Bible is definitely good for pressing flowers because it's so big. So <laughs> that's so cool. So yes, mark up your Bible, highlight, write, put notes in it, do your journaling and stuff like that. It really makes it your own and it really makes it special. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Some leaves. I do leaves too. That's so funny. Like how old are these leaves? Like even if my grandma put these in here, not like my great great grandma, even if these aren't like 100 years old, like how old are they? That's so cool. So I'm going to leave this here, find somewhere to put this. And I will unbox my new Bible instead of my old Bible. So let's get that out. So there's a few things here I want to show you. I crocheted this like pencil case holder thing. I crocheted across to put on top of it and I had some flowers that I haven't used yet that I decided it already had a button on it. So I just decided to make it my enclosure. So you open it up and it will have your stuff so these are the highlighters that i like so i bought a new fresh pack they come in bright and pastel and i think these ones are the pastel ones and they're just big bright liner grip pastel highlighter so i just love these these ones are my favorite and i found i had a purple one that was like they were made for the bible and they're more of like a like a waxy kind of thing but the purple was so dark that I could barely read what I highlighted so I really like this pastel one and again these come in brights as well so maybe I'll buy brights again one day but I really like the pastel ones especially for highlighting in the bible this is just an open pocket at the bottom and I sewed in two pockets here to hold these in and then I got my other pens in here that I'm excited to look at and see what else I can add here and I still even got some thread here to keep sewing in. I've just been waiting for this stuff to come in. The pattern came with like a little flap on it. And this pattern specifically, which I might do again and make another kind of copy of it, you are supposed to cross stitch a fox on it, which was really cute. But I did this shiny cross instead, just because of what I'm using it for. And then I also went on Team U. I was just looking for a few little like stickery kind of things. And these specifically, these are tabs that go in your Bible. So it's easy to find, you know, it's like flip to Matthew, flip to Psalms, flip to whatever. And you're like flipping through your Bible trying to find it. These are your tabs. So, you know, at the start of Malachi, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. So there's these. We'll see how I like these. There's so many of these you can buy for fairly inexpensive, especially on Amazon. So these are all the books of the Bible, but then there's like some blank ones too. So I could write out like maybe a special verse that it's like a life verse for me or something like that. Something really that stuck out for me. So that's kind of cool that they have a few extra there. So I'll just leave it in the packaging for now. Keeps it all together. And then I grabbed a few other little things. So I bought this paper as well from Timu. Timu. That I thought would be just fun for adding a little, oh, it feels like this top sheet feels like cloth, just for adding like little notes and stuff. I thought it'd be like a little bit bigger, more the size of a paper, but that's okay. These will be good for taking like little notes. I can get these laminated if I want to help protect it. They come in this like brown. This one's like fiber, but I just thought this would be cute. For, it was a couple of bucks, so I thought it'd be cute for Bible journaling and any other kind of like scrap journaling thing. These would also make good bookmarks. Draw like a little picture on it and then laminate it. These would make cute little bookmarks for the Bible as well. And then, like I said, if anyone knows me, you know I'm obsessed with bookmarks and stickers. So I bought these like faith stickers. I also have this notebook here that I've been using for Bible study type stuff. I can use the stickers in here as well. Don't be afraid to do journaling and stuff if you are terrible at drawing terrible at doodling that is perfectly fine just either just do it and get over the fact that you're drawing like stick figures whatever it is who you are kind of thing or i found some of these like on pinterest that i was able to print out i looked up like the armor of god and found one with like this really pretty woman on it not just like a man like a knight that's doing armor 
and it has a few different scriptures on it and then there was whatever things are true noble just pure lovely of good report any virtue anything praiseworthy meditate on these things and i just thought that was like a really pretty thing too that i could possibly add into my bible journaling um some coloring bookmarks that me or the kids can color again we can laminate them and i can like glue these together so that it's a double-sided bookmark kind of thing this is the books of the bible so just showing you like what's in the old testament and the new testament and then i just got this holy spirit you are welcome here which turned out to be really big so i might have to print off like a smaller version of this and i could put this like in the beginning of the bible kind of thing so if you're bad at drawing if you're scared to like mess it up with your doodles and stuff like that just go for it print something else off uh there's a lot of places out there where you can pay like a small amount to have things that to print off so you're also supporting somebody else and their artwork as well so that's good but also lots of free resources too right and if you don't have a printer maybe you can go to the library and print off a few things and you can also take like if you don't want to print off like one individual sheet of paper per picture you can open up like a google document or something like that download a few different pictures and then like resize them and you could have like a little tiny picture like this big and then another slightly bigger one and then you can get you know two to 10 pictures on one piece of paper so they're also smaller easier to use and you're saving paper if you had to pay to get it printed off you're saving money that way so i haven't opened up these stickers yet but he counts the stars and calls them by name be still and know that i am god so these are pretty sweet too and this one like these ones have like verses on them right so like perhaps this is the moment for which you have been created esther 414 so i could put this in the book of esther or i could feel like god's talked to me for something i've been created for and put this there as like a reminder right i will be done oh this little cup my cup overflows i love that these pretty little flower ones so yeah i'm so excited these look really pretty be strong and courageous just some really common most of them do have verses on them so they're not just like pictures of faith things like i don't know a cross or like a dove or something like that like they do have full verses yeah these are really pretty i love it beloved that one's sweet grace upon grace so some of them are just like kind of sayings too like beloved so this is the part i'm excited about this is my amazon package i'm gonna open it up here keep my address off okay, the address label just ripped right off so there's my pins so hopefully these are good that's another thing have a scrap piece of paper to write on to make sure they are what you want them to be and they will work they have the little clippy lids on them so these will like just fit in here with a little bit of extra space at the end there so that is perfect and i will have to test them out and they are 0.5 it looks like size so they'll be pretty skinny for writing with yeah i'll have to do like a test page or whatever and see what they're like how good they are so these were just obviously amazon here so this is what i'm really excited about all of the bibles i love are considered girls bibles or like teen bibles or whatever I'm like i'm an adult and i like pretty things too so this is something i was kind of afraid of it is a cloth over board and the cloth I don't like the feeling of it it has this very like weird texture and gross so again that's why I wish and it's got the pretty gilded edges this is again why I wish I could you can see it goes gold and then it goes blue I wish I could be in person to feel this but I can get rid of this it's got a little thing about the artist and stuff so that's cool and about the niv so look how pretty that is though about the gold foil the watercolor feel to it it's so pretty i love the colors too bad i don't like the feel of it and then there you go this holy bible 
it says is presented to I just wish it said like this holy bible belongs to or whatever but that's I have a thing like I can cover this up and put in my own template like I did with my other bible journal the word bible so it does have the very thin uh, bible pages of course so what I want to do here is put like that thing I printed off is kind of big which I kind of figured it would be but I can also use it as like a template for drawing stuff too but having something like this here and these are things like I can cut this and then insert it into the bible and like glue it down so then it would have its own page here and then i'd flip it and you'd see the old testament so it would be kind of cool to do something like that or i can use this as a template and like write it out myself or whatever we'll see what happens i kind of knew printing this big would be a bit of a problem i also wanted to do a cover page for like Genesis and How to Faith a Life has these cover pages that you can use but it's $30 and it's not that it's not worth it she's put a lot of work into this and it's basically the cliff notes version of every book of the bible and that would be like your title page and you'd be like in Genesis you're gonna learn these things and she's obviously put so much time and work and effort into that it's just I don't have the $30 to spend on just that right now but I would love to do like a title page here for each book of the bible I don't know if each book of the bible will have an empty spot see and then this is where you would put the tabs so it'd be easy to flip through so we'll see we have exodus genesis looks like it ends right there so there's no blank page between genesis and exodus but I could add a page it's kind of awkward with it starting on this side but I can add my own page or I can even do like a little cutout right here that has the exodus title page or I could put it here on this side and then you flip it open and you see exodus so those are some of the things I want to look into doing it does have a ribbon which looks like it's blue to match the pages there I love that color and then moving into the new testament I do have a blank page here so yeah, there's nothing fancy about this Bible. There's nothing to color in it that's already in it. Like my other Bible that I have has the actual drawings in it. So this gives me the freedom to do my own drawings and stuff like that, but also doesn't give me a lot of blank space. I do have space for notes, so that is cool. And this is what I've discovered is called the single column Bible. So all of this is writing and then it has the wide margins here for me to write on and do any, it's not a lot of note taking, but a little bit. There are like two column Bibles. You'll start at the top and read down and then you go up to the next part. And so there's two like columns of text on one page, but this is single. So I like that. It gives a little bit more space for the reading and then the wide margins again is really good. And then if I want to do like a cover page or add like a coloring page in here, I can tape it along the edge and have that extra space without having to worry about covering up letters there. So I am so excited. I am upset about the feeling of the cloth. There's nothing I can do about that right now, but I'm very excited to jump into doing my Bible study stuff with this and just diving in and connecting with God through some more meditative artistic means. Let me know if you do any kind of bullet journaling, Bible journaling, do you write or draw in your Bible or add stickers or anything like that? Let me know. Is this say a sacrilege to you? And yeah, let me know what your Bible time looks like. And I'm so excited and I will do a video of doing some coloring and journaling and scrapbooking in here. Maybe I'll do like a timer one, like a half hour timer kind of thing. And I will talk to you next time. Thank you for joining me on this and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.